magpasa ng ITR or okay lang po bank certificate with bank statement or bank certificate with average daily balance or ADB. So, we will be answering question ni ma'am. Hello po ma'am, if wala pong ITR, tapos merong bank certificate with ADB or bank certificate with, uh, with bank statement for the 3 months cash flow, need pa din po ba magpasa ng ITR or okay lang po bank certificate with bank statement or bank certificate with average daily balance or ADB? So, the answer is yes po. Okay lang po if walang ITR. Sa latest update po ni Japan Embassy, kahit wala ng explanation letter, bakit di makapag-provide ng income tax return or uh, ITR. So, bank certificate with bank statement, pwede. Bank certificate with average daily balance is pwede. So, totally acceptable. So, kahit wala ng explanation letter, pero pag gusto nyo na i-justify or kaila, uh, feel nyo na needed yung cover letter or explanation letter, discretion nyo na po yun if nagawa uh, kayo or not. Basta po, um, kahit wala na pong explanation is okay lang po. So, I hope this could help po and God bless on your visa application. For the basic requirements, again, first is a uh, Philippine passport, visa application form, picture passport size with white background, um, PSA birth certificate original valid one year, PSA marriage contract original valid one year, But take note guys, yung PSA birth certificate is walang expiration. However, the Japan Embassy requests at least a year valid. So, um, check na lang din po sa birth certificate if in case delayed registration or late registered yung isang applicant, form 37 and baptismal is required kahit copy lang. Not necessary na latest kahit copy lang po, kahit pinakaluma pwede lang. Tapos, schedule of stay po, then um, bank certificate with bank statement na 3 months cash flow or bank certificate with average daily balance. So, if mayroong ITR, pwede rin nyo po i-add yung ITR. If wala, okay lang po. No need na gumawa na explanation letter. So, yun po yung bagong update sa mga basic requirements under tourist visa. So, I hope this could help. And uh, if ever may mga questions kayo or clarifications, pwede po kayo mag-comment down below or pwede nyo po ako i-visit sa TikTok ko po, Laura, or sa Reels ko po, Laura. Uh, may mga um, videos ako about updates sa Japan Visa and iba't ibang kategory ng Japan Visa po. So, 